Hey guys! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Akosia. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I love you. You have my heart. You have a big space in my heart. Um, I know that I've been away for such a long time. I know. I know. Don't even say anything before. Let me just say it all by myself. I know that I've been away for such a long time. Um, but yeah, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Um, in today's video, I'm gonna I'm gonna be giving you guys a recap of the whole year. Basically, you know, 2020, what this year has been up to, or what we've been up to this year, or basically like the entire year. We're just gonna be reviewing the entire year and then probably a few plans that we have for 2021. I think 2020 taught us that sometimes you can't make plans, you know but we're, just, we're gonna get into that so yeah i'm just gonna be doing a recap of my year with you if this video is a kind of video that you want to watch then please keep on watching um give me a huge thumbs up i'm subscribe turn on the bell button so you don't miss any upload that comes on the channel because i'm back and i don't want you guys to miss any video thank you and let's get into the video <laughs> so first off i haven't been on youtube for the last time i was on youtube was in october I checked my last video was in October, which literally means that like two and a half months, if I am being like proper, proper mathematical. Um, but yeah, I've been away for a while, just basically been away. <laughs> in all honesty, I've just been away. There's no reason like, but you know what? Let me just, let's just talk. So basically beginning of the year was like pretty cool pretty smooth you know like started off good positive everybody had goals i had like a thousand and one goals from 2019 that i wanted to make possible this year i had a nine to five beginning of the year i did have a nine to five job so i had to i was working at the time and then came lockdown then came lockdown, then came so many problems with lockdown, you know, like it was something so new that we all had to adjust. So everybody was just, was just like finding a way to make it work, you know, finding a way to make it work. I feel like the only, the, one of the things that made um, this lockdown very easy was social media, you know, NST, social media, different social media platforms just legit grew, TikTok, what have you used you know because that's the only way we could see what other people were doing and that's the only way people could show what they were doing too you know um that's the only way you could connect with your friends people were working on zoom going to school on zoom um uh, beginning of the year was like crazy it was a little crazy and then it went into my birthday i'm gonna be fast with the year because i have a few other things that i want to talk about anyway um then it went straight into my birthday in june which was good i love my birthdays every every time that is june i feel like it's okay i feel like all my problems are solved <laughs> I, I think my caption my caption when june started was june is legit the month that the universe catapults me to all like my blessings and stuff like that it's just a belief that i have and yeah so june june was good june was okay moving forward july august september i mean generally 2020 has been hard it's been like a mixture of soft and soft and hard you know like there have been days where like it's been good there have been days where things are okay like you're happy the world in itself is okay the energy in the world is okay you know and there have been days where it's just been dead <laughs> like it's just been dead everybody has just been tired with everything that is going on i mean obviously the one big thing that hit us was the pandemic and how to live our life with this new normal you know it's it's uh wearing a mask everywhere you go keeping your distance from people trying to you know and this is a whole different country for me so you know like it just really was crazy um having to adjust to a new system having to adjust to a new environment having to adjust to a new basically a new lifestyle um that is what i found myself doing a lot this year even aside the fact that it was a pandemic i obviously had moved to a new country moved to a new state also i moved from maryland to massachusetts so then it was like a whole different transition for me so 
this year has been a lot of movements first of all let me just say that there, there has been a lot of movement there has been a lot of um you know like like really shaky grounds like jobs have been shaky finances have been shaky like and it's been crazy it's just been really crazy and then coming towards the end of the year i mean from the mid part of the year towards the end of the year i started a weight loss journey which i shared with all of you guys on social media i have always 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 wanted to be that kind of person that like really works out you know and not just working out for working out sake is really for my mental you know what i mean like <clears throat> i wasn't i wasn't gonna work out because social media i just wanted to lose weight just to show off in pictures you know i don't really care about that um but i just really wanted to work out because i wanted to be in the best place myself i wanted to look at myself and feel like i feel good in inside you know what i mean <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah i started started a weight loss journey um and then being healthy eating healthier making healthy choices for myself i think this year grew <laughs> i think this year when it comes to like healthy habits and workouts and basically like me i grew um another thing that really grew for me this year was my spirituality spirituality has nothing to do with religion so don't take don't take it in that regard but it's just basically spirit i mean spirituality and how you connect to you know god how you connect to the universe how you connect to divine spirits and all of that stuff you know um this year is the year that i opened up a lot more for my spirituality to grow this is a year that i was looking into things you know being like conscious of signs and symbols you know a lot of things doing my tarot every day um being very positive this year i must say that even though that the year has been like very trashy i mean i don't say very trashy i don't say that it's it's been like overall trashy it has been trashy here and there um but basically but generally my my spirituality did grow i am very grateful that i opened myself up to that now i feel like i have a lot more insights on a lot of things when it comes to my spirituality i have a lot more insights on like how i want my spirituality to go and everything i mean i've always known but then i i always like to know more you know what i mean so this year definitely my spirituality grow weight loss journey super perfect i lost I was, I, when I had my daughter, I was 190 pounds. Well, basically, when I moved here, I was 190 pounds, and now I'm 150 pounds. So, I generally, I've lost about, what, like, f close to 40, 40 pounds, which is good. I feel good. I feel stronger, you know. I feel, like, on top of my game. And it has nothing to do with, like, proper, proper weight loss, even though I've lost weight. But it was all for me to feel good, to make a decision. You know, I wanted to be able to tell myself that I'm not going to eat this and I'm not going to eat it. You know, like, I'm going to eat fruit and I will eat fruit, you know. It was just me being able to decide and discipline. It was just really being disciplined. So I think I did that, which is good, <laughs> you know, which is good. I was able to do that. That's the one big thing that I've been able to do this year, like put my mind to it and it perfectly worked i got people to join you know people to want to lose weight to want to check share like the experiences people were asking me questions about like weight loss and stuff like that i basically grew in person you know i feel like the pandemic also really just helped people to get out of the box and like think of ways to survive if really something like this hits us that's one thing that i was thinking of you know like every time something hits us there's been, there's been ebola there's been this there's been that um but i think this is the time that we all as like a, a world or as a universe this is the time that we felt it the most this is the time that people were like really affected because it affected jobs and everything um so this year i had it's like everybody had no op option than to grow you know you had to grow you, you had to make grown up decision and then now towards the end of the year one thing one thing that i deal with a lot one thing that i deal with a lot is over analysis paralysis <laughs> i didn't even think that i was going to talk about this you know but over analysis is like one thing that i do too much i think that i do it way too much i overthink things i over i'm always overthink like tell me that this is water 
I would think of a thousand and five ways. That's why is this water, you know? Why did you give me that water? I think too much. Like, I think about so many things too much. And I overanalyze things. I self-sabotage sometimes, you know? And it's one thing that I realized that was like a thing with me. Low key, I don't mind the overthinking part, but I hate the overanalysis part. I mean, it's good to overthink things sometimes so that you don't get yourself in trouble and like so that you're able to solve issues and stuff like that. But I also don't like, I don't like it when it impedes my progress, you know, like when it comes to my YouTube, my social media, being like a trying, being like a social media influencer in general, overanalysis paralysis the sickness for me for me i overthink literally every content that i made or um, that i make that was one problem that was one problem that i was facing one reason why i kept coming back and off youtube kept like thinking my videos like i was overthinking them overthinking my edits overthinking the music that i even put in my videos overthinking if i should vlog if i should do sit down videos if i should do makeup videos hair videos you know <sighs> i mean you need to look at your things you need to look at what content you're putting out there but you don't have to self-sabotage you don't have to over analyze anything that you're putting out people are coming to your platform for you you know and people will always come for you you know it took time for me to understand that it's me and people will come around for me and the contents that I'm making. People will come around because they like, they vibe with my content and, and they resonate with the things that I'm saying. They like my vibe. They like my videos. They like my pictures. They like my makeup. Yada yada. People will always come back for stuff like that. You don't need to be any kind of person or do any kind of thing just to please them you know like it was just uh and talking <laughs> talking about it like it's something that is just gonna go away no but it's something that i'm working on it's something that i am working around not being like too too analytical when it comes to things especially about me you know um i'm usually very very relaxed when it comes to people I'm barely bothered, you know, and I say I'm barely bothered when it comes to other people and like what they decide to do with themselves. But when it comes to me, I feel like I'm such a perfectionist, you know, so I feel like I always have to put out my A game, put out my A game, put out my A game. But also one thing that my husband, my husband tells me is that, um, you gotta do, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you can do. If you have, if you have water, just use water. Tomorrow, if you get juice, use juice. That's what my husband will always say. So, um, little by little, we're trying to get out of that whole overanalysis paralysis. We're trying to get out of the whole self-sabotage situation. As an influencer, I think it's very easy to self-sabotage yourself and like overanalyze the things that you do and the content that you put out there, you know. Um, but one thing that we should also all know, or one thing that I've learned is that we won't all be the same. We won't all always be the same, you know, and people will follow people for different reasons. You don't know why, <laughs> you don't know. People can follow five different people. They all do makeup, but they know why they follow all the five different people because they get different things from all different people. You know what I mean? So, um, I've just had to learn that over time. This is one, this is a year that I, I must say that I learned that a lot. Um, to not put too much pressure on myself to create content. No, I, I'd love to put pressure on myself to create content. Let me just take that back. But not put pressure on myself at the expense of like my happiness, you know? Like I won't stress for content when I'm not okay. You know, like when I'm stressing, I won't stress just because I want to do content. You know what I mean? Like this whole thing is supposed to be fun. This whole thing is supposed to be, you vibe with me, I vibe with you. I put out what content I want to put out. I share what I want to share. Like. That is how I started my YouTube. It was basically because I wanted to share tips and tricks on things that I know, life issues, hair, makeup, whatever. Like, I just like to share. I like to share things with people, you know? So that is, that has always been the basis of my channel. So whenever I'm not getting content, I feel like, oh, why am I not getting content? My people will not come, you know? People will be so mad at me. People will be so, ain't nobody gonna be mad at you, girl. <laughs> ain't nobody has the right to be mad at you. If they are mad at you, it's in their homes. You don't get to see it, you know? And you're gonna do what makes you happy. And people are gonna come back for you. If you think that you don't wanna come back for me, that's okay, stay there. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna force you, but you know what I mean? Like not to be shady or anything, but that's just, that's just what it is. That's just the things that I think about too much when it comes to my content and like being an influencer, a YouTuber, all of that stuff. Um, this is also definitely one of the years that I'll say that I'll just sleep without feeling guilty. I'll just take a nap and not feel guilty about it. I won't feel bad about it. I'll just sit down in my living room, watch a whole movie, two hours, three hours, and I don't feel guilty. I don't want to feel guilty about it, you know? It used to be like that. I will feel guilty. My mind will constantly, oh my God. You know, sometimes I feel like my mind is like a whole human being on its own. My mind will constantly be telling me, what you going to film? What you going to take content pictures? What you, are, you create, are you not creating content? Do you see what people are doing? You guys have no idea. Like my mind will literally be beating me up every time that I sit down to do something that just relaxes me and just makes me breathe. Like I try to take a breather and my mind is just on top. And I actually tell my mind, you know what? Don't make me feel bad about this, okay? Like I control you, you don't control me. So don't make me feel, I'm gonna watch this and sleep if I have to. You don't tell me what to do. Crazy, 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 crazy. Um, but I'm just happy. I'm just happy that, you know what, I'm able to notice all of these things and even work on them, first of all. I'm also happy that I'm able to share them with you. I'm happy to be back, you know. <clears throat> Moving forward for me, I just want to take it one day at a time, one step at a time. 2021. 2020 one big goal for 2020 was to grow my youtube channel in all honesty i really really wanted to grow my youtube channel with like consistency and content and stuff like that um but we didn't get to do it but nothing is too late you know nothing is ever too late 2021 that's what we're gonna do 2021 i have intentions <laughs> Of, I'm just gonna say that you know I have intentions of growing the channel and I'm grateful for all the abundance that I have on the channel right now um, I have intentions and I'm grateful to see what it turns into next like I'm grateful to see what the channel grows into which kind of audience that I have I'm grateful to see like what family I'm gonna build out of YouTube because I believe that it will be a beautiful family moving forward I also have a lot of different show ideas if you did not know or didn't know I have a background of like broadcast journalism so i have like proper proper interest in talking 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 doing shows doing interviews and i really have plans of working around something like that i don't know how it's gonna go but yeah it's just part of the plans for 2021 which includes starting a podcast hopefully like I literally have it all written down on my notepad, the podcast topics and everything that I want to talk about. I just really need a push, you know. I just need a push. I, I don't think I need a push, but I need a push. Like I low-key need a push, but I don't need a push because I've been wanting to start a podcast since Ghana. Like le legit since Ghana. Um, 2021, like I said, I'm going to be going one day at a time, one step at a time, trusting the universe to guide me in the right direction. That's one thing that I always ask for. <clears throat> guidance from the universe like i'm always very particular i know that i can make plans on my own i know that i can make decisions on my own but i'd love for the universe to guide me you know i feel like it's always better when they guide you <laughs> it's always better when you have a spirit guide you know like when you have the universe spirit divine guiding you and taking you to the right things that you deserve that's all i want that's all i want to open up to that's all i'm gonna be opening opening up to for 2021 2021 is a beautiful year there are a lot of surprises you guys will see them as we grow eventually um i can't wait to share them with you so yeah basically that that is like the entire video i didn't want this video to be like like a makeup video. I figured I'd been away for a while, so then it will be the right thing to do to come back. Maybe chat with you guys a little, you know, like talk, chat here and there. And then, um, then we can go back to our regular posting, makeup content and whatever. That is it for a recap of 2020. Yeah, I'm grateful that I'm still here. That's one thing also. I'm grateful that my family 
my family everybody in my family is still good nobody passed away with covid you know nobody actually passed away this year except for my grandma my super super amazing grandma may her soul rest in peace i love her so much <clears throat> she's the only one um but aside that i'm grateful that everybody's fine everybody's okay everybody's healthy alive kicking nobody's bedridden safe you know what i mean so 2020 i'm grateful that we're still here the year has been shitty but my family and i were still here we're still alive we're still okay so what else could i ask for you know like what else could i ask for we look forward to having a beautiful next year or an amazing year ahead of us um hopefully you guys see this video on christmas day so that i'm able to say merry christmas <laughs> merry christmas guys i i'm not a christmas person i don't celebrate christmas in any way i celebrate the fact that december marks the like the ending of a year and the beginning of a new year basically so is the transition for me <laughs> it really is the transition for me so that's why i celebrate december or that's why december is a festive month for me um so merry christmas to everyone that's watching everyone that has been my subscriber my follower you guys are amazing if you follow me on all my social media platforms and you do follow me here too i love you okay like i just really appreciate your um you being an audience and not going anywhere i appreciate you so much I'd love for you to stay, become a part of the family, you don't go nowhere. 2021 is going to be amazing, a lot more content. I don't want to promise because I did a lot of that this year and it didn't end anywhere. I mean, it ended somewhere. I posted a lot at a point, you know, um, but, but yeah. I hope that you stay, I hope that you become a part of the family, I hope that you subscribe, turn on the bell button so you don't miss any other upload. I'd also love for you to maybe share with me very little, very very little of like a summary of your year, you know, like in one or two words, tell me what you say about the, the 2020. That's it. <clears throat> I'm gonna go away now. Um, I'll see you guys in my next videos, videos that come from, I mean videos that will be coming after these videos. Happy holidays to all of you guys. Happy, happy holidays. I love you guys so much. I love you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>